Hello, welcome to our space slash ether yoga practice. We begin sitting up on the knees, closing the eyes and connecting to our breath. Throughout our practice today, we'll be focusing on the stillness between breaths and the awareness of the space around your body. Take one more deep breath, filling the belly with air and exhale it all out, slowly tilting the head back as we open up through the throat. Breathing nice and easy, making any minor adjustments so that this posture feels comfortable. And if this is too intense for the neck, we can skip it or modify as needed. Just breathing nice and easy, enjoying your natural rhythm, connecting to the body and everything around you. On your next breath, you can take the hands behind the feet, fingers point towards toes. Inhale and exhale to press through the hands, lifting the heart center up towards the sky. We'll be focusing on opening up through the heart and the throat chakra, allowing our freedom of expression to come through, speaking and acting from the heart and not the ego. Exhale to gently release and inhale coming up onto the knees, lifting the hands. Exhale, dive the chest down and inhale to raise up. Moving with the breath, finding your own pace, waking up the body, feeling strong and secure. One more round. Inhale, reach the fingertips up and exhale, a child pose. Gently releasing, planting the hands, taking the knees as wide as the yoga mat and toes together. Hands underneath the shoulders will take a few rounds of this modified cat cow. Opening up through the inner groins. We can always take traditional cat cow here as well, but I invite you to try something new. Notice how this feels in your body. One more round. Beautiful. And when you're ready, gently take the knees back under the hips, walk the hands forward and release down onto the belly. Untuck the toes and reach the right hand back for the ankle. Finding this quadricep stretch, or we can deepen this and press into the hand, lifting the ankle, coming into a little half bow. Following your intuition and making the choice that's right for your body today. Exhale to gently release and switch sides. Pressing the pelvis down into the mat, finding length in the spine, and maybe using the opposition of the hand and the foot to come into our half bow. Enjoying all of these small pockets of stillness. Exhale to release. Take the hands under the shoulders, press up, coming through tabletop to melt the chest down into puppy pose. Find what position feels the best for you. We're here for a few breaths, releasing and opening up with every exhalation. Anchoring into your breath returning back to the body whenever the mind starts to wander away. 
letting your heart lead you. You know what is best for you on your path in your journey. Trust it in the universe. On this next inhale, send yourself love and exhale any resistance or fear. Gently pressing back up and making your way into easy seat. Inhale, lift the arms overhead, interlacing the fingers and pressing palms up towards the sky. Beginning to take a few rib rolls, leading with the chest, opening up through the thoracic spine. Maybe we hear some back cracks, totally normal. Moving with the breath, making sure to even out both sides before releasing the hands down by the sides. Take the right hand to the left ear and gently find a neck stretch. No forceful movements. Moving with care and intention. Exhale to release and switch sides. Making sure to drop the shoulder down away from the ear. Remembering to create as much space in the body as we feel the space around the body. One more big breath. And whenever you're ready, you can release the hand. Uncrossing the ankles, place the left foot in by the inner groins and the right foot in front. If this feels comfortable, pull the feet as close into the groins as you can. We can also still stay in easy seat or find any other position that feels comfortable as we walk the hands to the right side and reach the fingertips forward. Breathing into the side body and the lower back. Exhale, gently walk the hands through center and make your way to the left. Grounding down through the palms, feeling the energy of the earth. Can you feel any subtle vibrations or heat? Make your way back through center and gently come up into tabletop pose. We're coming into a 90-90 lunge with our right leg in front. Lifting up, take the hands behind the head, inhale. Tucking the back toes for support. Exhale, crunch the neck down and elbows together. Inhale, lift, sending the gaze in the heart up. And exhale, crunch and round. Again, letting your body govern you, lead you. Finding one more round here. Open and crunch. Then release the hands, press through the right foot, tuck the back toes to straighten the right leg. The left knee is bent as we lean the chest forward. Nice and active here. One more big breath. And then gently plant the palms, step back through tabletop to take our left knee into our 90-90 lunge. Making sure to find your position here, the hips over the knee. Inhale, lift the chest high. Exhale, round. Keeping a nice long spine here. We're stable and secure in ourselves, in our bodies. Allowing ourselves this time to open up on the mat and truly be there for ourselves. 
We can even whisper, I trust myself. I trust my intuition. Affirm it for yourself if it feels right to you. And find your last round, gently straightening the front leg, coming into this awkward little variation of pyramid pose. Then plant the fingertips, sweep the left leg back, and come gently down onto the sit bones. Extending the legs long, feet are flexed. We're making our way into fish pose. Planting the palms down, placing them right underneath the small of the back. Gently letting the head fall back. Moving carefully and consciously. This is an intense posture. So make sure to breathe. Allow yourself to open and release. One more breath. Then gently lift the head. Come out of fish pose, taking the arms out by the sides and lying down on the back. Feet plant hip width apart, preparing for bridge pose. Arms by the sides. Exhale, squeeze through the glutes to send the hips up. We can tuck the shoulder blades underneath us to send them a little bit higher, maybe interlacing the fingers, bringing our body in balance with this very activating chakra pose. Exhale, gently release, straightening the legs. And if shoulder stand is in your practice, we can come into shoulder stand or supported shoulder stand by placing the hands on the lower back. Squeezing the glutes together, trying to get the hips over the shoulders, but just enjoying the blood flow down to the heart center. And if we like, we can extend the legs over the head, coming into a plow pose. But making sure to find what feels good if we have any tension or discomfort in the neck, we can release down onto the back where we're coming next. And when you're ready, you can gently make your way down onto the back. Extending the left leg long, bending the right knee, and finding a gentle twist. Sending your breath and awareness to the lower spine. Surrendering to this detoxifying pose, releasing any negativity, any stagnant thoughts ruminations, let it go. Exhale onto the back and gently switch sides, crossing the left knee over the right leg. Taking this last moment of our practice to really feel the earth underneath us connecting to Mother Nature, to the space around us, feeling still and open. Releasing onto the back and finding any resting pose that feels good to you. taking these last few moments of silence. Thank you so much for joining me in this practice today.